Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, founder and editor of JournalistToolbox.ai. I can find it online at JournalistToolbox.ai. Uh, it lists uh, several different categories of topics and uh, tools uh, that are of interest to you as a journalist uh, who's learning how to use artificial intelligence tools like uh, AI writing and editing tools, data tools, image creation, and what we're going to talk about today, video creation. Uh, the video creation page, uh, as you go in here, you'll see uh, you know many different types of tools. VideoFi, which we're going to look at. Uh, video, which is a really good one. Runway, I'm going to demo that as well. Um, and uh, several different types of tools in here. We do have training videos as well up here in the upper right. Uh, we can click on here. We have more than 90 training videos in here. They're all absolutely free. They're just up here listed on our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so help yourself to them. Feel free to subscribe to it for free. Um, also, uh, we have a newsletter that comes out every other Tuesday morning, right around 8 a.m. Central Time in the U.S. So uh, you can subscribe to it for free, but uh, we do appreciate any donations to our Substack as well. So you can access all that off the right-hand rail of Journal's Toolbox AI. So let's start taking a look at some of the tools. Um, VideoFi is a tool that uh, is built for journalists by journalists. Um, fantastic tool for building uh, social media uh, videos, uh, as well as, you know, other, other videos as, uh, as well. Um, you can uh, scroll through here. Uh, it's in beta, and I do have a beta account, so I can demo it for you. Uh, but it's got a library of templates. You can create your own from scratch. Um, you can do an AI-generated voice and avatar if you want to. Um, it'll do up to 20 languages uh, and translate for you. Uh, it's very uh, uh, intuitive interface, which is what I like about it, but it gives me a lot of control on the back end. What The problem I have with a lot of AI video tools, you know, text to video or image to video tools, is they don't give you a lot of editing opportunities on the back end of it. So, you know, if you see something you don't like and you want to sub it out, uh, uh, you know, you can't do it. Um, but VideoFi does, uh, and that's one of the reasons why I'm really interested in it. So this is my beta.videofi.ai account. Uh, it'll be launching soon. It's got all these different topics, you know, topic to video, where you can just type in you know, a short prompt uh, and uh, create a video from an article to video, which is what I'm going to demo. You can take a link to your article uh, and it'll pull, uh, you know, video, photos, text from your uh, story uh, and uh, turn it into a social media video. If you're on deadline, this is a great tool for that. Um, the nice thing about it is I can edit on the back end and sub out in other photos or other video. They do have a lot of stock images and video on their uh, on their site as well. Uh, also a text to video. So I can just give it a, a prompt uh, to uh, generate a video up to 50 words. Um, and then template to video. You can select from their templates and, and design something in there. Um, if you do a pro account, uh, you will have uh, access uh, to uh, adding your uh, branding uh, to it, which I have here. Um, so let me click on article to video, uh, and I'm going to go to this website. You can do this with any website, really. I'm going to go to the Redline Project and pull up this story. The Redline Project is a website my UIC students and I publish to cover news and urban issues in the city of Chicago. And this one's on a big development going on, uh, going on in the Lincoln Park neighborhood. It's called Lincoln Yards. It's got a big economic impact, but it's also displacing a lot of uh, uh, businesses and even a few homes here and there. Um, so this is a, kind of a map of the area, and we have a photo rendering of the area, some audio interviews and things like that. Here's a photo of uh, what's standing there now, um, uh, one building that they've got structured uh, or built already. So I can take this link and drop it in here. They've got a little practice one in here from CNN that I'll delete out. I'll drop in the Redline project um, and then hit return. And I can select media to upload in it as well. Ask to validate it. Article validation successful. Then we go down to our next button in the lower right. We're on the output step, your navigation's at the bottom here. Now I can you know, upload other photos if I had some that I wanted included in it here, but I don't. I just want to see what it grabs. I can always sub it in later. I've got to select my language now. I'm going to do it in English. Um, I'm not going to do a voiceover with this one. I could record my own voiceover or if I ha have a video uh, already with a uh, uh, voiceover in it, I can select none here. And then next. 
then I can choose my design or my template. Um, and uh, they've got several blank templates in here. There's a video if I news one in here. Um, uh, this one here uh, is a Redline project template. It uses my banner. Uh, I pre-built all, all of this. Um, so I can select this one. I can preview it, but I've, I've used it before. So I'm just going to select it. And then in your upper right hand corner, you've got create video. It's starting to generate the video. It takes a few minutes. It'll drop it in your video library down the left hand side. I, while it's doing that, I can go in and start creating a, a new video uh, if I wanted to. So it'll take me back to that uh, home page. And here it is. And my video will pop up in here in my video library. Here's the one that's creating right now. Here's some other ones I've created doing other things, a bar scene in Chicago and stuff like that. And once it's done, I can open it up and do editing on it. It'll give you a little edit button. And uh, well, that one's working. I'll show you this one. I can click on the edit button here and you can see some of the, the features of it. This is an older one that I created. This is an article that we did on Chicago's changing drinking culture. People can't afford the expensive drinks anymore. This is a photo from one of the bars that was featured in the story. And it pulls out some really interesting, you know, nut lead, nut graph uh, 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 items out of it. But I can go in and change all this. It's all editable. Easy export in the upper right hand corner downloads it uh, MP4. Um, and then we've got a little cap at, at the end. You know, so if I wanted to edit this, I could go back in and click on my slides and it gives me the video or the body text. I can go in and it's just select it on the left-hand side here. And then I can edit my text here. I can rewrite it, you know, delete all this out if I wanted to. Um, you know, I can uh, uh, change the fonts, the colors, text background. And that's what I was talking about earlier. You used to have tremendous control on the back end of any changes you want to make it here. So if, you know, the AI has selected something you don't like, you know, if I, I'm not wild about this text on text here, you know, I can go in and sub out this image uh, and, uh, you know, select change image and either upload my own or go into the stock media and maybe find something that's a little bit better, you know. So, um, I mean, maybe select this graphic that the, the student had done with it. Um, that might be a little bit better. Um, so, you know, uh, this chart it makes for a little better background than the text will just print over the white here, you know, much better change. So anyway, uh, that's how you go in and edit on the back end here. And let's see how they did with the one that we had percolating here. It's finished. So uh, there's the opening screen um, and I'll go ahead and, and click on edit and uh, we can play through it one time and see if we'd like to change anything. So pulls my headline. It's got the branding at the top. You swap out the music if you want to. They've got a, a small list of, of rights-free audio. Same with any of the images or video that you, they're stock images, the, they're all rights-free, so you don't have to worry about getting in trouble. Not sure where this rendering came from, so I would sub that out. So I think that was slide six. Yeah, it's slide set five. Yeah, there it is. So I'm not wild about that image. I'm not 100% uh, uh, you know, uh, certain where it came from. Uh, so I can you know, swap that out and see if there's um, you know, some stock media in there or something like that that I can use. Um, you know, and uh, I can also you know, uh, put in a link to something else here. You know, uh, Lincoln. Park, Chicago. Maybe it'll give me another shot of the Lincoln Park neighborhood. Um, this right here is a little shot of Lincoln Park. Um, looking to see if there's another vertical one. This one might be a little better. And I could select one of these. Okay, so, um, you know, you can go in and, and sub these out if you want to. Um, so that's, you know, uh, the gist of it. Um, if you want to uh, give uh, VideoFi a try, 
uh, sign up as a beta user, or if it's been released uh, to the public, you can just sign up for it. Um, but it'll be a, a great option for you uh, in the coming weeks and months. One more tool, Runway. Uh, runwayml.com. Uh, Runway is pretty popular because it does many things. It does uh, text to an image to video. It does text to image, image to image. Uh, you can do all kinds of different things in here. Um, the image to video feature is one that I really like. Uh, you can generate a video with, with image prompts, or you can just upload an image in there and, and uh, you know, turn it into a video, uh, make it, uh, you know, spin 360 around something or zoom in on something. So I'm going to upload a file here. I've got a, a photo uh, of a uh, car that I'm going to drop. I can drop in and I'll go to my desktop and find it here. And you can do anything with this. If you do your own images. This is one that I created in mid-journey, a rendering of a, a blue BMW. Uh, and there's the image right there. And I can do generate. It's starting to queue it up. And it'll just do a short little video zooming into it. Very short uh, uh, pan in. Uh, you know, I could do other things with it too and, and uh, add prompts to it, change it. But it's generating right now. It does take a minute. Um, but if you need, you know, just a quick little animation, um, it's a pretty good tool to do it in. But you can do written prompts, all kinds of things with Runway. This is just one of the features that I kind of like out of it. And it's going to create a little four-second video here, and uh, it'll percolate and, and give me a good look. In the meantime, again, with Journalist Toolbox, there are many of these tools in the video. The image creation section is great, too, but the, the video creation section, I've got VideoFi right up here at the top. Video uh, is another one, <laughs> kind of competing names here. I've used this one for... Uh, uh, uploading just some video, some raw video, and uh, dropping in. Uh, it, it'll edit it down into shorter social media videos. Uh, it does a pretty good job. It doesn't allow me to do a lot of editing on the back end. Um, so I can open it up here. And it has pretty cool little templates. Um, this is a, a video of uh, Chicago's mayor speaking. Uh, it, it was a night uh, Brandon Johnson was elected. Um, and it uh, will uh, transcribe uh, and create a uh, you know, social media video here. Notice tool, choose. It got something wrong. The problem I have here is I can't go back and, and, uh, and do a lot of editing with it. Um, the subtitles doesn't give me a lot of editing control. So I'd like to be able to go back and fix some of this text. Um, that, that's one of the drawbacks that I've, I've had with it. But, you know, I, I'm sure that's something that they'll shore up. So now in Runway, our video's done rendering. It'll play through. We've got a nice little zoom in on this blue BMW rendering. And it'll just sit there and loop for you. Okay. And I can extend it too. Um, it charges you credits to do it. Uh, in this case, it wants 20 credits uh, uh, to, to do it. And, and you have to buy those credits. It starts you off with a, a few hundred, I think. But uh, you know, if I wanted to extend it, I'll see if I've got 20 credits left. Yep, I do. Um, so now it's eight seconds. You know, and then I can extend it a little longer. Um, so it'll queue it up and, and play through. Um, so again, uh, Journals Toolbox, you've got tons of these text-to-video, image-to-video tools up here. Some are free, some you know, charge a little bit more, um, but uh, they're all worth uh, exploring, uh, especially if you do a lot of social media videos with your, with your work. Um, it's worth taking a look at. Um, so we'll see how we're doing here, about 44%. Um, so take advantage of these tools. You know, video uh, is all right. Uh, uh, video, uh, video five is really good. Video is is okay, but have, you know, I pointed out some issues with it. Um, the one thing I like uh, about uh, video uh, is it's got many different types of templates in here that you can choose from. It's very uh, uh, good. Uh, has some very good options. Very easy download to uh, into a short, uh, you know, ten to fifteen second. Uh, social media video from a longer speech that, you know, I, I think we ran about a minute, minute and a half, minute and a half long. It's still kicking through here. Uh, we'll see. I'd like to show you the eight second version of this, but it does take a little time for it to render. It's a browser based tool. And there we go. looks like we've got some action here. Now I've got a much cooler zoom. It'll actually fly around it a little bit. Kind of gets dark at the end. I'm not wild about that. Um, it'll reveal a prompt for it. I can rate how it did. You know, so I'll give it four stars. I don't like some of the ending of it. Uh, render quality. 
Um, I always give them a little feedback because it helps train the software to do a better job with it. Okay. So those are some video editing tools for you. Hope you find this useful and we'll catch you on the next training video.